Welcome to ECU Flash Subaru Training Part 5. This video we're going to be taking a look at working with XML files. Our XML files are the definitions that allow things to display within ECU Flash so we can edit and tune in our software. Now we're going to go through the basics of XML definitions so you can get familiar with it, where to find them, and what to expect if you have to edit or work with them at any point when working with ECU Flash. Without further wait, let's jump into this video so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna be taking a look at working with our ROM files and our XML definitions within our ECU Flash software. Our XML definition is going to be defining how things appear within the ECU Flash when we open a particular file up. We'll find at the very top here, I have two current files loaded. Both of these files are available in the course packet directory. If we go to file open and we go into our Subaru course packet, sample ROM file folder. You're gonna find a 2003 WRX option and the other file that I have open here is a Carberry 42 SD based ROM file. Now the reason I have both of these ROM files open is we're gonna be exploring the XML definitions in the background and making sure we understand how things work within the actual ECU Flash software. Now, if you're coming in to this particular training course from our Evo 8, Evo 9, or Evo 10, ECU Flash training tutorials, you'll understand how the XML definitions work. If you're new to ECU Flash, this will be something you definitely wanna know how to work with and understand because when things don't appear in a ROM file or a ROM doesn't, isn't able to open up, a particular uh, calibration file doesn't open up, you're lacking the XML definition. It's important to understand what is going on in the background. So I wanted to have a separate tutorial just to understand this basic fundamental idea of our XML code. So we have our files open here. Let's close this out. And let's take a look here at a 2003 WRX stock equivalent files. This is exactly how Subaru would have placed the file into the ECU. It was read out and saved. And that's why I have this open up here for the very first example to take a look at. Now, what we're gonna find here in our ECU Flash software is we have this area, current ROM metadata. This is going to be where all of the tables are exposed within the calibration file. Now, if we scroll down here, we're gonna see we have these subsections called boost control target. If we scroll down here a little bit further, we're gonna find uh, sections called fueling injectors. This ROM is structured in a way that it opens up within this particular ECU Flash software and it displays a table or a function under a particular class. And that's all done in this file formatting called XML code. The XML code exposes and allows us to edit and work with these particular tables. Now this file has more tables that we can't see. And the reason why they're not defined and we can't actually access them within ECU Flash is because the XML code hasn't actually been defined. It hasn't been produced and therefore the software doesn't know how to source or look for the tables to expose them to allow them to be edited. So what we're working with here and how we're interfacing with our ROM files, um, whether it's gonna be a standard ROM file or a Carberry ROM file, which are enhanced files, those will have XML codes that someone has developed and exposed to allow us to start to navigate and interface with these different sections and different tables. Let's take a look behind the scenes here and seeing how the XML code allows this to happen. So what we're gonna have to do here is first we're gonna go up here into uh, the top under this little gear icon under options and we can see where we have our ROM metadata folder sourced from. So if we go here into our metadata directory, now the metadata right here is our current ROM metadata, that's where it's sourcing this XML code from. So the XML code is what allows, again, these particular sections and particular tables to be defined so we can actually edit them and work with them and interface with them. This is where in our software under options on the metadata directory, where we're going to find the XML definitions. This is pointing to where those are stored on our computer. Now the default location, when you install your ECU Flash software, you'll find it's C drive, program files, x86, open ECU, ECU Flash, ROM metadata. So this is going to be where we actually source and take a look at our XML files. Now when we're dealing with the Subaru-based applications with ECU Flash when we're doing our reading and writing and doing our editing. We'll find we rarely have the need to go in and edit and work with our XML definitions. Now in ECU Flash, based for Evo applications, Evo 8, 9, and 10s, as we have in our separate training course, there is a lot 
of definitions that can be exposed and we want, might want to go and work with because the stock definitions as we open up a stock EVO 8, EVO 9, or EVO 10 file will be very limited compared to the Subaru. There's been a lot of leg work done here and we again, we don't have to go in and define every single last XML definition in order to properly tune and work with our particular calibration. So that's one thing I wanted to mention here. So this video is really understanding the nuts and bolts behind the under, uh, under hood and under, uh, behind the scenes uh, so that we can uh, just understand what's going on here, but we rarely have to go in and edit it. All right, so this is where we find, again, just coming back to this, circling around, this is where we find the, the raw metadata. Let's actually go into the folder and start to dig through how the XML definition is going to be applied here. So let's close this out. If we go here into our folder down at the bottom, that's going to allow us to go into our C drive. And then in this case, thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.